Pattaya is the best sports area close to Bangkok. Now Thai Polo is only one hour away from the airport, one hour, five minutes. And it's predictable. You never spend more than maybe that time plus minus 10%. And at the same time, when you go to Thai Polo, you are completely in the countryside. The clubhouse is like it would be in Europe. The, the riders want to see connected to nature. Since we have a lot of land, we could introduce all the other equestrian disciplines. You have endurance, you have eventing, you have derby show jumping, show jumping, dressage and polo in one place. It's really important for horses that they have areas to go grazing. We want horses to feel that they are in the countryside. And then since it's in the countryside, you have good airflow. Good airflow means so the horses feel really comfortable in their stables. You often see them lying there and sleeping. Here we, we paid a lot of attention on how we take care of our horses, of our guests. The idea is that they forget about their horses and they, they feel comfortable enough to give it to us and we take care of them. Well, uh, as a vet there's a lot to do, especially having 120 horses permanent here all the year you always have something to do. So mainly every morning we have a, to follow all the cases. We have a records on our, on our clinic and we go through that every day plus the new cases that appear every morning. So we check lamenesses, uh, we look after their nutrition, their teeth, their body condition. Basically we, we check everything we can, we do x-rays if it's necessary. Now we just got a digital x-ray machine that is one of the best toys I got at the moment. It's, it's one of the last things you have in the market and, and you can really see on detail all the bones or the lesions or anything. As well we can ultrasound the horses, we have an ultrasound machine, we have endoscopy, we have our physiotherapist team as well that works together with the vet team. My job here is mainly to teach polo players, but I also have a, uh, a horse training program, so I'm teaching horses as well. And the way my job is developing, it's to teach the Thai how to train horses and then to go on and play those horses and become players. Basically, to summarize my philosophy and maybe my method is polo players are polo players, regardless of how good they are or how bad they are. And I try to understand what are the absolute basics of what every polo player is trying to accomplish. And I've tried hard to develop that understanding and be able to explain it so that an absolute beginner can take that information and use it, but yet a 10 goal player can take the same information and figure out how to get something useful out of it. My, my approach is keep it simple, keep it basic, so that anybody can understand it. At the moment we have two, one has a local grass that does very well, it's the main field in the main clubhouse. The local grass is very nice and the surface very smooth, the ball runs well and it's easy to maintain. When we built the second field we, we thought that we might want to have something special and we chose the Tifton grass, that is what you have in Palermo in Argentina. And my desire is to have it become a world destination and for polo and I really do believe that with the level of the polo fields which are very very high standard, the, uh, the way the clubhouse is run, 
the level of polo they offer, I think we are very much on track as a destination for polo players.